Hey, it's Johnny Reno here. I'm in Austin, and I'm checking this action with Margo. Check this action if you think you're so tough. You're really fighter, you really fight can't get enough. We lay him down a rocket with his spine cracking deep. Get out of your chair and up on your feet. Check this action. I said check the action. Check this action. Check this action. Check it out. I'm Margaret Moser. I'm Tara Venerusso. Welcome to Check This Action. We're here every Sunday night at 10 o'clock, every Monday night at 10.30. We have a new Junior Brown video to show you and a lot of local shows and touring shows to tell you about. And Margaret's going to give you the gossip, too. That's right. Post us to give away. Much, much more. Stay tuned. Well, I wish I was stronger. I wish I was smarter. I wish I got his hero set again. Harder. I wish that old April I didn't breathe so much rain. I wish I was tall and a full fish chain. Well, I'm a chooser. John Wesley Harding for you. Mm, a little Wayne the Train and the Ugly Americans. <laughs> Margaret's going to give you the birthdays on this week. That's right. Happy birthday to Lloyd Maines, uh, formerly of the Maines Brothers and of the Joe Ely Band and numerous other bands. His birthday is the 26th. Lloyd is from Lubbock. We also want to wish a happy birthday to King Coffee of the Butthole Surfers. His birthday is on the 28th. And, you know, King's got the Trans Syndicate label, too, with all those mm -hmm. great bands on, on there. And King is from Fort Worth. Also, speaking of uh, the Metroplex, happy birthday to Philip Anselmo from Pantera. His birthday is on the 30th. Born in New Orleans, but Texas band, so happy birthday to you, Philip. Happy birthday, guys. And also, i got to tell you a little bit about a giveaway that we're doing on a really nice guitar that's autographed by Bonnie Raitt. You may have heard about it a little during the course of this month. And we, although we did tell you we would give it away during June, unfortunately, we have to work out some contest details because it's such a cool giveaway that there's a lot of details that have to be hashed out before we can give it away to you. So don't panic. We're still going to be giving it away. <laughs> All is fine. And, you know, now Margaret's going to show you the poster of the week. 
Yes, uh, poster of the week this week is a Mike Watt poster. He's going to be playing second stage at the Lollapalooza show here, and we have a special autographed poster here to give away. Thank you very much, Kelly Petrash and Sony Records, for this. First person that calls 499-1815, this poster is yours. Signed by Mike Watt. jazz about that toady show. Oh, I know. That'll be fun. <laughs> Speaking of shows, I'm going to tell you all about some local shows going on around town. But first, I start out by telling you about clubs I don't normally talk about. And one is, it's called Cale Ocho, and it's over on Congress. And it's if you love to dance to salsa and merengue, and even if you don't have, know a thing about it, you should go over there and check it out, because it's really interesting, uh, salsa and merengue dancing over there. On Monday night, every Monday night, did you know that Don Walzer is playing over at Babe's? You should definitely go check Don Walzer out over there. And uh, you may have heard that they were closing, but they're not closing, right? Uh, no, as far as I know, Babes is not closing. They may be for sale, but as, I know, as far as I know, they're still open. He must have had a before sale sign for three years, so I'm sure <laughs> That's <be> right. <laughs> Club business. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about Ian later on, even though he is performing on Tuesday night, but that comes later. So on Wednesday night, Widgeon is playing over at the White Rabbit, and he's playing under a name called Y. That's going to be the name of his band now. So you should go check that out at the White Rabbit. Also on Wednesday night, Aubra Moore, who used to be in Poi Dog Pondering, who has her CD released, she's playing at the Cactus Cafe, and that should be a great show as well. And on Auditorium Shores, there's two bands that are playing. There's Rotel and the Hot Tomatoes and the Heroes at Auditorium Shores. And also, did you know that at the Carousel Lounge, you can go see Jay Clark, who's a really cool piano player, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. It's a really cool atmosphere, and you should go check that out as well. And all the people that like all the lounge acts will love the Esquivel Fest that's going on <laughs> over at the Continental Club. That's right. Euripides Pants is going to be playing along with a lot of other people. And, hey, man, I got the right shirt for it's it and sure everything. Do. He's a fishnet hose. <laughs> he was the king of cocktail culture, so that's totally cool. You should go check that out. Even if you know nothing about it, it sounds so fascinating that you should go see that. 
Another thing that's going on on Thursday night, over at Flamingo Cantina, Bo Bud Green is playing, and I heard their new tracks that they just recorded sound really good for the Scotty Brothers album that they're doing. And uh, that's really cool, because you know, to see bands that you go see every night doing really well, it's a great feeling. Also on Friday night, Buick McCain is playing over at the Electric Lounge, and Flipnotics is having their third anniversary party for the clothes pad, and Eight and a Half Souvenirs is playing, and so is Earth Pig. No, not Earth Pig and Fire. <laughs> not Earth Pig and Fire this time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And on July 1st, you, that's Saturday, actually, you can go check out Retarded Elf at Liberty Lunch. That'll be a big show. And also, Spoon is going to be playing at Electric Lounge, and that's right before they go on their Lollapalooza tour. So they're going to have a great time on, at the Lollapalooza. Sure are. So you just get out of your house. You have to go see music. There's way too much going on for you to stay at home and watch TV. So get out of your house and go see some bands. ship with me down in the dirt with the fossils and the dinosaurs it makes me want to get you high get you high get you high as a flag as a hedges in your garden like a god had a house he'd open up and let you in sleep like a well in memory of last night Her perfume still clinging to the new daylight I find a single strand of hair on my pillow that it fell The way it lays there as it's sleeping What a story it could tell Well, Marie is not a real name cause she promised not to tell But Marie is all I'll ever know and to me it's just as well She didn't have a reason, no she didn't leave a clue but the perfume that is on my chest tells me it was true. Well, if you ever wonder, oh, like a mystery, you can't find me in the darkness. I'm just waiting on Marie. Well, I wished I never loved her, but how was I to know that she'd melt into the darkness like an out of season snow? I may stand waiting forever, and I'll close my eyes to see. Yeah, isn't it a wonder? I'm just waiting on Marie. Going sure. people, people playing around town, that's what's going on. I gotta tell you about some touring shows while we're at it. 
this, this festival called the Horde Fest, which is going to be August 31st over at South Park Meadows, has the Black Crows and the Cheryl Crow, and I kept thinking maybe it should be called the Crow Fest. <laughs> maybe. But it has a lot of other bands. It's got Blues Traveler and Morphine and Ziggy Marley. Mm -hmm. So you should go check that out. Tickets are already on sale, so if you want to go see that. There's also some other stuff going on, like Monday the 26th that Emo's Filter is playing. Margaret does a really good imitation of their song. That's why I say, hey, hey man, man, nice shot. shot. <laughs> I'm going to be so sick of that. Hey, they're really going to be great Monday. Tomorrow, but, hey, you know, be good to go see them down at Emo's. And did you know, in July, the back room has some two really good shows that I want to go check out. One is Fetus, who's going to be playing, and also Monster yes, Magnet. Yes, I love Monster Magnet. <laughs> Margaret's got to tell you about the video of the week. Yes, uh, we have a new video this week from Junior Brown. Well, actually, it's Highway Patrol is the name of it. And if you're a Junior Brown fan, I'm sure you've heard the song before. Mm -hmm. It's one of his, his most popular. But I, I like the way that a lot of these uh, videos are being shot in black and white now yeah. because it gives them a lot of atmosphere and stuff. <laughs> and you can see Tanya in there and uh, Tom Lewis from the Wagoneers drumming with him. And, and I just love old Junior. <laughs> one time Donna Pearl from the Naughty Ones crawled up on stage dressed in little uh, uniform <laughs> and stuff. I think Junior was a little shocked. Well, let's take a look at Junior yeah. right now behind bars. I got a star on my car and one on my chest. A gun on my hip and the right to arrest. I'm the guy who's a boss on this highway. So watch out what you're doing when you're driving my way. If you break the law, you'll hear from me. I know I'm a working for the state. I'm the highway patrol. Well, you'll know me when you see me Cause my door is painted white With my siren is screaming and my flashing red light I work all day and I work all night Just to keep in law and order Trying to do what's right If I write you out a ticket Then you better drive slow I'm just a doing my job I'm the highway patrol I'm the highway patrol The highway patrol Driving slow, I'm just a doing my job. I'm the highway patrol. I'm the highway patrol, the highway patrol, my hours are long and my pay is low, but I'll do my best to keep you driving slow, I'm just a doing my job, I'm the highway patrol, I'm just a doing my job. Junior Brown in jail. I yeah, like that. That's right. <laughs> you know, this is when we tell you about CD releases, and I'm going to tell you about it in store that Ian Moore is doing on Tuesday, the 27th, and that's going to be at Waterloo at 5 p.m., but it's going to be really, really crowded. So there's an alternative. You can always get the tickets to go see him at the Austin Music Hall on July 8th. So that's a way you can get around not being able to see him because of the crowd. But you know, what we have for you is something very special right now. We have some vintage historical footage when Ian was just a lad. <laughs> Before he signed on for shampoo commercials. <laughs> so that you can see just how far he has come. And let's go ahead and watch that right now.
this. Where did you dig that footage? <laughs> Secret, I'm not telling you. Mark is going to give you a chance to win something right here. Yes, that's right. If you are among the first 25 people to call 499-1815, this wonderful CD from Santiago Imanes Jr. can wow. be yours. But you do have to be one of the first 25 people to call in. The winners will be chosen among those who call in. That's the number running right along our knees here. And if you'd like to know a little bit more of what Santiago sounds like, let's take a look at some footage of him playing at Conjunto Posada last year. <laughs> If you didn't call us, you should be severely ashamed of yourself because you could win some really cool stuff by calling us on our Check This Action giveaways. <laughs> and you know, although normally I say this is time for Margaret's gossip, it isn't. Right now it's time for Margaret's Austin Confidential. Uh-huh. And confidentially speaking, well, <laughs> I don't know if it's been speaking, it's been coming out over the airwaves. Radio, radio, everybody's talking about 101X, the raids that have been going on at the other radio stations, everything from, pe from them stealing salespeople to DJs around town. Ray Dog came over from KNAC. He's been on the uh, morning show and on the overnight show. He's going to be taking over the 10 to 2 slot. You know, Rachel's on the air. It looks like she got a contract worked out with them. And it'll be really interesting to see who else they're bringing in. You know, mm. Gibby Haynes from the Butthole Surfers and Rob Jacks, who's going to play Leatherface in the upcoming Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, have a show that they'll be doing. Well, let's see how often they'll be doing it <laughs> on there. Should be fun anyway. And also Michael Corcoran and Don McLeese from the American Statesman mm. will be doing a Thursday night uh, kind of a call-in show. I guess you can call in and ask for prayers and, and, and you know, send them love offerings and things <laughs> like that. Maybe a little talk about music in there. But that'll be coming up on every Thursday night at 8 o'clock. So it'll be fun to see see uh, just what kind of format they decide to go into mm -hmm. since they're heading for an alternative crowd. Uh, also, Do Doyle Bramhall has been back in town. He was seen down at Steamboat recently yeah. checking out the Billy White Band, and he was also seen over at the Ark talking to no less than Tommy Shannon, Chris Layton, and one other person, but it wasn't Charlie Sexton. <laughs> There's not going to be any Archangels reunion coming up anytime soon. Everybody's pretty busy di off doing their own things, and we hear that Doyle has his own musical projects underway, so he's looking good and sounding good. Welcome back to town, Doyle. Hope things go well for you. Also, uh, you know, everybody was saying, Pork's going to Electra for so long. Pork's going to Electra, Pork's going to Electra. No, they're not. <laughs> they're going to go to Capitol, though. So uh, it'll be interesting to see them over on Capitol, home of the Butthole Surfers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting bandmates yeah. <laughs> in there, Cork and Butthole Surfers. Uh, Our Lady Peace, who are going to be on the bill with Sponge and Letters to Cleo, not happening. Why? They're going to go off with Van Halen. Can you imagine that? <laughs> a better gig, I guess they thought. I'd like to see them at Liberty mm, Lunch, maybe though, it's I a think. Better gig. I maybe know. yes, maybe no. Well, anyway, fun, more fun for Sponge and Letters to Cleo, anyway. Um, also, I want to remind you that Anton's anniversary is coming up in mm -hmm. July, and House of Blues will be down here filming it. They have a nationally syndicated TV show, and they will be taping some of the portions of the anniversary presentation. That, that's going to be featuring a Cobra's reunion now. That was one of Stevie Ray's big bands that he got to start with. Uh, Candy Kane will be there, Chris Whitley, all kinds of people there for that. And uh, I told you that Starfish and 16 Deluxe are going to be doing videos for Trance. Starfish is going to be doing Runaround. That's a song that's produced by Bob Mould, but of course the video will be produced by somebody else or directed by somebody else. And then 16 Deluxe is going to do Idea, which mm. is getting a lot of airplay on 101X right now as well as a few other places. So we can look forward to seeing that. And that is all for this week's edition of Austin Confidential. Dude. 
pool, but your solution to the solution of the way to cope with the problems of a nation that stands tall, the taller they stand, the harder they fall, and as a curious burden on my shoulder, had to stand firm, and I learned as I got older that sometimes you've got to commit with the people before you, a risk against you, sometimes you stand alone when you know that you're right, a conscious struggle, a tireless fight, but you have to go on, you can't stop, and when your heart is heavy, and you just want to drop, sometimes Thanks so much for watching Check This Action. You are watching the Austin Music Network, and we'll be here next week on Sunday and Monday night. We sure will, and also any of the viewers who would, who would like it, if you've been following any of the shows that they've been doing here from the Austin Acoustic Music Festival, there's a new segment coming up of the Therapy Sisters that was oh. taped at AAMF, and that'll be coming up this Friday at 10.30. You'll want to tune in for that. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Oh, no.